back on here for us in Edgecombe County and take it right to the north and west to see where it's going closer to Nash County because I do expect those impacts there. So those of you around the Pinello area, you've been mentioned many times this morning. If you're around Davis Town, please move into your safe places now. That's the most interior portion of your home. Uh, we expect this to be impacting you in the next couple of minutes. Uh, Pinello, safe places now if you're in Dorches, 932 if you're around Hillardstown or Hillardstown, 943 and around the wood area. That would be closer to 957 this morning. And then that would, of course, take it through Nash County, uh, potentially impacting portions of western Halifax County and also into parts of Warren County as well. So that's what we have right now, the latest tornado warning for Edgecombe County until 930 this morning. In addition to that, we have had locally heavy rainfall. These areas also being impacted uh, with flash flooding concerns at this time. Same rain band, and I'll point that out for you same rain band that has been uh, bringing the terrible weather unfortunately terrible conditions for uh, Wilson County Nash Edgecombe and still into Johnston County too and that's this rain band right here I am seeing a bit of a break now in spots so that is encouraging but we still have locally heavy rainfall that will continue and uh, we still have the tornado warning for portions of Edgecombe County right now so that's where we are at this time. Tornado warning for Edgecombe County. It's radar indicated. It's until 930. We have another 30 minutes on that. I want to get back to the track so that we understand the town's impacted while we wait for another scan to come in. Uh, and based off of what I'm seeing now, I'm going to advance this a little bit farther north and west because I do expect that. So we'll start the track there. If you are in uh, the Kungsboro area, safe places for you. That's in Edgecombe County. Ultimately, this tracking northwest at 40, it's fast movement. So uh, those of you in Dorches will likely see this impacting your area in Nash County at around new 925. Scan. Got a new scan, new update, and I think it's close to where? Uh, Davis Town. Yeah, there you go. Right there. It's about ready to go over uh, Highway 111 uh, there. Uh, and it's it is a little bit more broad circulation, but there's still a couplet there. They go from the early one to the new one. Uh, so a little bit broad, but definitely still holding together. So where it's at right now, uh, heading towards uh, McKendry Church Road and Silent Night Hill Road. Uh, if you live in these areas, well, let's go ahead and take shelter uh, as it's moving off to the north at a very fast pace. Northwest, rather. Uh, so areas that could be under the gun here pretty soon uh, would be up around uh, Penlo and uh, Hartsboro, Kingsboro Road, uh, Antioch Road, and up where we get to Highway 64 uh, there where you can see uh, getting close to 97. Those are areas that should actually be right now uh, preparing themselves. If you look at the direction it's moving specifically, it doesn't look like it would be making a turn towards Rocky Mount, but it could be close. So if you live in a uh, say uh, eastern or northeastern part of in and around Rocky Mountain, Leggett Road there, Springfield Road, be on alert uh, because if another scan holds together, uh, this could be potentially coming in your direction. And as Craylin was saying, it's just so much heavy rainfall. We typically don't see uh, this much rainfall where the entire viewing area basically is under a flash flood warning right now, less a couple of our northeastern counties, and the flooding risk is as high as it gets level one through four we're at a level four that goes right across the heart of our tri uh, the viewing area in the triangle and up in a person uh, county and all the way over towards greensboro and the one thing we always see and we absolutely can't stand is when we see people trying to drive through standing water you have no idea how swift it's moving you have no idea if it's increasing a lot before you know it you're going to be swept away in your car and you cannot get out now you're at the mercy of wherever it decides to take you. So that's a concern. Also a big concern now because of this much water, we have to be concerned about trees going down because the ground is completely uh, 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 saturated. So sh shallow root systems are the ones that are going to be the first easily toppled with winds maybe at only 30 to 45 miles an hour. It doesn't take a lot. So power outage is also a concern here uh, in a big way. But as we've been dealing with all morning long on the outer band here, a tornado warning after after tornado warning, but it's all been on the extreme outer band. Inland areas, we have seen no rotation whatsoever. When I say inland, I mean closer to the center of circulation. So it's always way out here where we're getting these uh, tornado warnings.
But again, pine tops, you're okay. Tar burrow, you're okay. But be on alert if you live in around Rocky Mount or just due east of Rocky Mount, as we're gonna get another scan here pretty soon, as it's likely gonna be up around Highway 64, just off to the east of Rocky Mount. In this latest scan, not looking terribly uh, uh, ominous, uh, you can see it, the scans have been tightening up, and then this last one, it's still there. There's still a couplet. It's just not nearly as impressive as the ones that we had earlier. Flash, Flash flood, flood warning, warning for Raleigh. Mm -hmm. Yep, until 2 p.m. Yeah, so. those of you around uh, Pine Tops in our old Sparta, you were once uh, being uh, in an area of concern. You can come out of your safe places now. Just want to make that known to you. If you're in your safe place around Highway 258, the old Sparta area, Pine Tops, feel free to come out of your safe place now. We are tracking the impacts for the Pinello area and potentially into Kongsboro and uh, Pinello in the next uh right now actually uh whitaker is towards 924 and old bethlehem towards 947 and possibly into the littleton area around 10 o'clock this morning time is 908 we do have a uh, tornado warning for edgecombe county is a central and northwestern edgecombe county until 930 with the rotation that we've seen apparent within this same rain band that has been just so disruptive this morning with its heavy rainfall and the rotation that we expect it to be possible within Debbie. This is the bigger picture of our first alert Doppler net and this rain band has been pretty exclusive for areas north and east of Raleigh. It really has kicked in with its rotation and the heaviest rainfall concerns so far. That being said, we have had heavy rainfall in general across much of the viewing area right now. I think it's really concentrated around Raleigh. Uh, also so east into Johnston County and areas to the north. So more impacts for Alamance, Orange County, uh, Durham County, Chatham County, up into Person, Granville, Vance, and even into Warren County and Johnson. That's where we've seen the greatest impacts so far. And those flash flood warnings also in place too. As a matter of fact, Steve and I just mentioned that our phones were going off with a newly issued update from the National Weather Service. They've extended that flash flood warning for I guess that's Wake County here until 2 o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, yeah it's, it's actually a lot of counties. Yeah. And look at all the towns. I was reading through the list and mm -hmm. I was like, well, that's basically everybody. That's everybody. Uh, pretty much. So just we're, we're getting reports of uh, water on roads, small street uh, streams and creeks are starting to spill their banks. Uh, it's just, again, if you live in a flood prone area, you have to be on alert, not just today, but unfortunately overnight tonight and even into early tomorrow morning because this is ongoing uh, for quite a while. Quite some time in the rivers and creeks just getting started. Uh, unfortunately, as those rivers and creeks swell, they're flowing outside of their banks, and that will allow for flooding to continue through the weekend with some of those crests to major flood stage. Right now, though, we're with you with a tornado warning for Edgecombe County. We can certainly go back to weather eight right now to show that tornado warning. That's why we're on the air with you right now. Edgecombe County, you're under that warning until 9.30 this morning. The concerns still for uh, those of you around the, uh, those of you in some of those cities escaping me right now. Well, it, well it's kind of heading towards Rocky Mountain. Yeah. That, that's the big uh, uh, town that we're watching. We're waiting for a new scan right now. You can see that couplet just off to the uh, southwest there of Tarboro. Uh, and so you're in the clear there. Like it, you'll be in the clear with this one. Uh, the motion uh, that we're seeing is lifting off to the north. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So it's going to be up close to Highway 64 by the time we get the next scan. Somewhere in this area uh, around King's uh, Borough Road, potentially, uh, Crystal Way and Melton Road, as soon as that new scan gets in here. But likely going to skirt by Rocky Mount, but maybe not. Uh, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see. But Rocky Mount proper, uh, like in the in the downtown area, will likely be okay. But the farther you get closer to Highway 64 there, uh, you know, Rose, Rosewood Avenue and Meadowbrook Park, areas like that, we need to be on uh, alert for sure. Uh, a heightened, okay, that's... that's we, we know there's a heightened tornado risk. Okay, so there we go. There's the new scan, uh, Quaylen. Let's go ahead and get in there a little bit closer. So it has uh, tightened a little bit uh, from the last scan to this one. So we still have good rotation now. So where it is at this moment, because it's a brand new scan, Hearts Mill Run Road, uh, Farm Path, Fillmore Road. If you live in these areas, take action. Uh, get to your safe space now. Howard Avenue, all these areas just uh, you know, adjacent to high 
Highway 64 mm -hmm. there. That's where we're seeing this rotation. Uh, so it's kind of broad. Let me go ahead and put a little, little circle on it. So this is the area within there that we probably likely have uh, a tornado, albeit maybe at times brief that touches the ground. Damage can be done easily uh, uh, with these. And it looks like, again, let me show you the direction of motion and go back one click to this one. So more than likely, the direction is going to take it right here. So let me go ahead and zoom in uh, to that. So areas like Pumpkin Street, uh, if you live in this community, uh, be on alert because it's coming your way. Uh, Gay Road uh, and Leggett Road. So again, just off to the east there of Rocky Mount. So if you live in Rocky Mount proper, you're likely okay. Uh, but let's just be on alert right now and stay with us uh, because this is going to be moving over Highway 64 mm -hmm. here very shortly. That's what's concerning right now over Highway 64. Again, well-traveled area. Those of you near Break, near Pinello, you're familiar with this area. But Highway 64, well-traveled area. Many people use uh, that to get, of course, back and forth between Pitt County and areas back to the west. So so please uh, take it easy. And if you know anyone who uses this thoroughfare in general uh, to travel, you want to make sure that they are aware. We are looking to the north of Rocky Mount as well. As Steve mentioned, towards Highway 301, that's where we could see some more impacts coming up in the short term too. Back to another track for us, moving northwest at 40 miles per hour. That's the fast speed. And that's going to take it potentially and to parts of western Halifax County. So maybe towards the Gold Rock area and then to, towards Hilliardston and Old Bethlehem towards 10 o'clock in the Odell area towards 10.08 this morning. 9.13, 9.14 now, that's the time. And we're watching heavy rainfall in addition to tornado warning. Absolutely, yeah. It is hard to believe when you have almost the entire viewing area right now uh, basically under a flash flood warning. And like we said, just about every one of our communities needs to be on alert if you... Uh, can stay home today do so if you keep the kids home do so um, getting out on these roads is just absolutely dangerous we don't want to see anything like that you don't want to have to be rescued um Again, the roads are going to be, in some cases, incredibly dangerous, and the flooding is going to continue, and it's going to increase these small uh, creeks and streams. They're going to be spilling their banks, uh, so if you live in a flood-prone area, you need to know that. The tornado watch, I believe, is still till 1 o'clock. That's right. They might extend that. We'll see. There's our one warning. I'm going to show you that uh, once again in just a second, but the overall trend as we continue to see Debbie lifting off to the north, eventually accelerating. But look at that band that goes all the way offshore here. All this is rotating around, moving right through Wilmington and just slamming them. The beach is getting strong wind. But those bands are coming right up now. And that secondary band, to me, looks like it could be leaning more up I-40 and potentially in the Raleigh, not the extreme outer band. So we're going to have to watch for rotation along that line uh, here eventually. Eventually. But right now we have one warning in the viewing area. It's in Edgecombe County until 930. So another 15 minutes and it looks like we just got a new scan. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, I was getting overzealous. <laughs> uh, we're going to get it here shortly, though. But by that time, it's going to be over, uh, as Quaylen said, a busy road, Highway 64, uh, around Thomas Road, Melton Road, Meadow Brook Road. If you live in these areas or if you have friends and family, just make sure that they are hunkered down and ready uh, to, to take shelter because this is lifting up. Again, likely not going to go into Rocky Mount. It's probably going to be pushing a little bit farther to the north like this coming up here uh, and then continuing on. So we'll see if we get, hopefully get a weaker scan. That's kind of been the theme of any time you're dealing with a tropical system on these extreme outer bands. They ramp up really quick and then they ramp down really quick. We've been seeing that with some of these in the uh, <laughs> mid-morning hours, but really early this morning, Quaylen and I started at 2.33 in the morning with these warnings and they actually got uh, l larger, stronger, and they stayed longer. Uh, and that's why we had a lot of damage reports early Early on, and it seems like Wilson uh, County has just been uh, under the gun. Yeah. Wilson, Nash, 
Edgecombe, all these areas in the same outer bands and just getting one after another. One after another and again associated with that same band of rainfall. But as Steve and I have been mentioning this morning, we have our eyes on two bands in particular. The one we mentioned near Wilmington and Wrightsville Beach, I think will become more of a player in the coming hours. So we have to watch that one carefully. Right now it's producing some of the heaviest rain around Sampson County right now and also into portions of Johnston County. I think we're going to start seeing more rainfall potentially into Wake County with that same rain band. And then, of course, we have the one that has created many of the warnings so far, including the one that we're on air with you for right now, which is over Edgecombe County. And that, again, near Highway 64, just to the north and east of Rocky Mount. This warning set to expire at 930, but it's been decently healthy and so it may maintain its strength as it moves north and west right now we think it's going to come mighty close to rocky mount so you know this is one certainly if you're around rocky mount you want to keep an eye on let's see what the weather service has just dropped for us they just they just repositioned yeah um. So again, still moving northwest at 35, so they've adjusted the speed too. Uh, it was 40, now it's 35, but that's still fast. So that means okay. still limited time for react reaction. Don't worry, that, that <laughs> this makes sense to us. Yes. Uh, so I was just looking for a little bit of a, what we call a debris ball, didn't see it there. We didn't see it, which is good. We're, we're gonna um, get a new scan any second. And I, as I said, it's likely already on 64 or past it uh, with, with the newest scan that'll come in. And I'm going to go ahead, if you want to take over there, I'm going to start looking for any other little spin-ups mm -hmm. that could possibly be yeah. Happening. So let's um, take a look. We've been mentioning the uh, flood flooding concerns. Oh, there's there's a new scan. There we go. There new we go. Okay. So it is right Not on so Highway fast. 64. Right on Highway 64. And, and it is holding together right now. Again, that's between Brake and uh, the that Pinello? is the Pinello area. Yeah. So and it's strong. That that's a that's a good it's a healthy signature. So likely and it's actually ramped up. So that was the last scan to this one. So here we go. Just like early this morning when these ramped up, they did cause damage. So let's go right into these communities. Pumpkin Street, Crystal Way. We already mentioned you. Hopefully you're in your safe space right now. It is on you. Uh, and if we get a little bit farther north, what to expect? Areas like in you know, Beacon Tower Lane and uh, this is like treatment plant road and Leggett road if you live around here near highway 97 all of those areas that couplet is coming due right at you and it's really moving fast you said 45 or 40? now it's down we're 35 miles okay, per hour so but that's well, so that's fast okay we were at 40 now we're at 35 okay so I mean that's just an estimate here but it's yeah it is moving very fast mm -hmm. so let me zoom out here Okay, so cities that are uh, potentially in this path could be Battleboro. So let me zoom out and see, yeah. So Battleboro uh, and just south of there. So that would be like Red Iron Road around Highway 301. So these areas of, uh, uh, we want you to be uh, aware that this potentially could be there very soon. And again, as we said, this was likely going to miss Rocky Mount proper, and it did. You can see the circulation's not far away. So even in Meadowbrook Road and Thomas Road, literally just a, uh, to your east, uh, there is a potential tornado on the ground that's just kind of racing right now across Highway 64. So it's been about a minute and a half since that scan. It's already past the the, uh, the highway there. Yeah, 97. Uh, yeah, and it's probably getting closer to 97 mm -hmm. as we speak. Uh, so these are the areas that need to be uh, watching closely. I'll let you take over, and now I'm going to do the search for some other spin-ups. Sure thing. So right now, big picture still shows that we have heavy rainfall over uh, the triangle areas north. We're tracking that one rain band in particular for the time being, keeping our eyes cautiously on on another just to the south with impacts for Sampson Wayne counties. Let's go back to the uh, concerned area that we have right now where we are looking into Edgecombe and just off east of Rocky Mount right now. If you are in the Gold Rock area, I would suggest that you get into your safe place right now as we do expect impacts for you. Uh, looking a bit closer, uh, just so you get your bearings here. We have Nash County on the left. You see I-95. We have Edgecombe County on the right. Uh, we do have still the couplet of concern east of Rocky Mount. As Steve has been mentioning, it's likely going to track north of Rocky Mount proper, but some of these locations nearby Rocky Mount 
are uh, in that bullseye for potential impacts with gusty winds. And we've already seen our warnings this morning with the history of damage. Please take these warnings seriously today. Uh, Leggett Road, please be in your safe place now. If you live around Highway 97, you can head into your safe place now. I'm gonna zoom down a bit more here and we wanna see if we can get into more streets locally. As Steve mentioned, Gay Road, I heard him mention that. Pumpkin Street, you should be in your safe place at this time. Those of you around Trudy Lane, you should be in your safe place too. And Beacon Tower Lane, also around Deer Run, uh, which is really close to Leggett Road. Please head into your safe places now. We have lots of kids home today because schools are canceled to be safe with Debbie's impacts today. And that means some parents may have gone to work while your children are at home. So please be reminded where your safe place is. It's the most interior portion of the home. If you live in an apartment, that means the most interior is your bathroom. It might be the closet. If you live in a house with two stories or several stories, the best place to be is the ground floor. If you have a basement, even better. If you don't, the first floor, the lowest level will be just fine. A pantry, a closet, an interior room, just fine. Unfortunately, with what we've seen with damage in the loop comma area um, we have seen how homes collapse and so being on that upper level is not the place to be you want to try to get safely to the lower level as quickly as possible children can use their bike helmets adults too of course uh, to provide coverage and safety and shield those wonderful brains of yours so please keep this in the mind for today take your cell phones into those interior rooms and of course we'll let you know when it's safe to move out of your safe place and to join us back here. But right now we still have that tornado warning for Edgecombe County. We are waiting on another scan and that should be coming up soon. This is an older scan. It does show still that uh, best couplet between Springfield Road and Kingsborough Road. But we're likely looking around the Leggett area, Leggett Road and Highway 97. We'll get that update coming up very shortly. We're gonna track this out and the next hour for the next hour moving northwest at roughly 35 40 miles per hour so excuse me while i mess around with this radar a little bit to reset taking this to the northwest at that 37 mile per hour clip it'll be into gold rock around 940 into the aventon area at 955 and that's in nash county but then notice crossing over county lines again, so possibly some impacts around Halifax and into Warren counties near Old Bethlehem and Odell towards 10.05, 10.15 time frame, and then towards Littleton at 10.20 this morning. We have officially another 30 minutes on this tornado warning that's in effect until 9.30 for West Central Edgecombe County. And we're getting close, 9.24 is the current time right now still waiting on an updated scan to come in flooding rains of course are a concern and that means street flooding we've seen many road closures around our viewing area and those will continue today oh, right i mean it's just incredible to see almost the entire viewing area under a flash flood warning mm -hmm. uh and so and here we go and we've got hours to go and these outer bands uh potentially could bring us even more tornadoes so we've had i lost count of how many we've had this morning since yeah. 2 30 uh but this one here we're waiting for a new scan it could be uh, on its way towards Battleboro uh, right now this officially stays in, in, in effect until 9 30 which is you know five minutes from now but if that scan is strong we're gonna go another half hour on this easily uh, right now so again it's likely at this point in time over highway 97 somewhere around Leggett Road there Gay Road uh, Beacon Tower Lane these are areas of concern because this is moving it's such a fast pace as all of them pretty much have as we've gone throughout the day today most of them between 30 and 40 miles an hour so likely going to get a scan any second i didn't see any other uh thing of concern quailin as i looked around mm -hmm. i didn't see any other little uh areas of rotation that's good news it doesn't mean we're not going to uh 
uh, as we go through the next couple of hours. Like we mentioned, there was that concern with another band that's coming f around Wilmington and kind of turning right up Interstate 40 and heading this way. Along that band, we know it's going to aggravate the flooding, but it is considered kind of more of an outer band, which we could get some rotation. So we're going to explore that. New scan just came in as anticipated now. Mm -hmm. uh, the location is really close to Highway 301. By the way, this is a little bit weaker, but still broad uh, circulation. Uh, so it is, we talked about Battleboro, that's a little bit farther north. So it's south of you. That's good news there, that community. But Campus Common there, Tyler Road, Thomas, uh, A. Betts Parkway, all these areas need right now uh, to be in your safe space. Uh, uh, that looks like uh, Femur Road around Highway uh, 301. And let's continue on the direction. So it's going to be heading towards Drake, potentially uh, Dorches, but more like Drake uh, because of the direction it's moving right now. It may be up around the community of Gold Rock. So these are areas of concern as we speak and still a decent couplet. So I would be a little surprised if they don't extend this warning uh, to include those communities because you can see how fast it's been moving. It's almost out of the warned area as yeah. we speak. Nearby is the Rocky Mount Sports Complex, also Golden East of those of you familiar with American Express Inn in Rocky Mount uh, nearby, also near the bowling center there. So these are some of the locations with potential impacts this morning based off of where we're seeing the best rotation. And as Steve mentioned, this is going to cross over Highway 301. It's probably going to make a run for Interstate 95 somewhere near Red Oak. And so that, of course, is concerning. This would be the third, I think, or fourth time at least that we've seen a couplet pass over a portion of I-95. Uh, we've noticed some incidents where uh, there was a tractor trailer, I think, blown over at one point. That could have been attributed to some of the winds from this type of scenario. So uh, we're concerned about what's happening right now please take heed and please head into your safe place uh, if you can just take a pause for a second before you head out and just let this threat move away from you before you decide to head out and hit the roads this morning again we're looking at areas north of rocky mount that's where the best rotation is if you are north of rocky mount proper but still uh, there's quite a chance that we have some impacts for the fringe areas in rocky mount too preparing for impacts along that small section of i-95 uh, which is just enough there i'm going to re i'm going to redo the track on this area of concern moving out of now Edgecombe County and pushing into Nash County at this time. So I'm going to redraw the track and see where we are moving forward. As we mentioned over I-95, the system moving fast at roughly 35 miles per hour. So that'll put it into the Gold Rock area now into the Hillardston area. We've mentioned many of these locations over the last 15 minutes uh, over Wood closer to 10 o'clock Park Town near 10 14 and near Warrenton at 1022. By that time, it's making a good shift into our northern counties, some of which have been and seen limited impacts with this kind of situation. But rainfall, of course, ongoing at this time with locally heavy rainfall. Looks like the warning, we're going to find out in a matter of seconds if the warning is extended into some of our northern counties. Right now, it's set to expire at 930, but that certainly could change, and we would not be surprised if it does based off of the uh, what we're seeing right now, waiting for another scan to come in and the update from the National Weather Service. So it's 930 and it's that one has expired. All right. So technically. But uh, can, I, can we wait until we see another scan? Please let us. Yes. Because I, that's can, uh, if you go to weather eight once again, the scan we're looking at is is kind of old few minutes it's a few minutes old but we're but waiting on if, we want to see this weekend yeah if you, if you look at this the history of it uh, it ramped up and then this last one it kind of came down just a little bit but it's still noticeable so let's get one more scan in here before we let this go uh, because it is kind of heading towards gold rock uh, around interstate 95 and highway 4 there corporation parkway so that's that's probably where that couplet's going to be but getting less and less all right looks like they allowed it to expire they did so that is yeah. official news the official work from the national weather service so again radar 
illustrates heavy rainfall, flash flood warnings pr pretty much everywhere. And right now, those are until 2 o'clock. We we've been seeing those get extended throughout the morning, and that will likely continue for the rest of the day. Still potential for more brief tornadoes to occur today. So please keep this in mind. Right now, I think we're preparing to head back to Amber Repenta. Quaylin and Steve, we appreciate uh, both of you watching the radar. They have been on since, I think, 2 o'clock this morning. Uh, so it's been in a, a very busy overnight. We have a lot to get to after a short break, including an update, some breaking news out of Wilson when we return.